Greetings friends, I'm Mike the Fit Farmer and years ago I moved my family out of the city to homestead in the country. Join me as I share our adventures of growing stuff, striving to live a healthy lifestyle and so much more. Oh, and we live in a yurt. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications and share this video with a friend. So I don't know about you, but I just love berries, all kinds of berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, snozberries if they were real, and even cherries could be considered a berry in my opinion. Even Barry Sanders <laughs> was my favorite running back growing up. I know it's a different kind of berry, <laughs> but I just had to say it. Well, we have these blackberries here on our farmstead that I planted probably, I don't know, two, three years ago, something like that. And for the past few weeks, I've just been eyeing them because they have fruit that's been developing on them. And man, does it look so good. They like, haven't quite ripened yet. And I'm just like, please don't let anything happen to my blackberries because man, I'm looking forward to those blackberries. And then recently I went out there and found a surprise at my blackberries. Whoa, look at that, Ezekiah. Those are the biggest blackberries I think I have ever seen. Whoa, check them out. It's like my finger. Look how big they are, man. Yeah, man, they're huge. We have a number of areas that are growing wild blackberries and those are good and we'll harvest them. But these are our favorite. Because one, they're just humongous, and two, they are pretty delicious. I actually really don't like wild blackberries. They're bitter and uh, How do these compare? These are delicious. They're sweet. They're sweeter. I actually like wild blackberries, but I agree. These are sweeter and I like these better. Do you like blackberries? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, and I forgot to mention that these are also thornless blackberries. So one more reason. You like blackberries, Hezekiah? Huh? Do you like blackberries? <laughs> you haven't had any yet, have you? This will be your first time having blackberries? <laughs> you excited about that? All right, let's get some of these. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -boop -a -doop. Might need to make some blackberry pie. Man, these look so good. I just want to eat them right here and then I won't have any to take back with us. But there are a lot here. Aren't there, Sayla? Yes. I have to pass in the bowl. Dang, look at that dude. Look at that dude. You thought that little bowl was going to do it. We'd already had the thing filled up. Uh -huh. Salem thought that this little bowl that she had earlier was going to be enough for our blackberries. And I'm like, no, it won't be enough. So I'm like, let's get a bigger bowl. And I got a bigger bowl. And it doesn't look like this bowl is going to be big enough either. <laughs> yes. Because we have this plant that has a whole uh -huh. bunch on it. Yep. But we also have a couple more. <laughs> oh, how are you thinking of using these blackberries, Salem? You going to make a pie or something? I can make muffins with them. Mmm, yummy. Sounds yummy, doesn't it, Hezekiah? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds yummy, it does. <laughs> Man. Oh, also, if you like back blackberries, how do you use them? What, what, do you, what do you make them in? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Like blackberry pancakes. Mmm, yummy. Blackberry pie, blackberry muffins, uh, blackberries in a smoothie. Mmm, yummy. Oh, man. I don't know if we'll make it. Father. Oh, you feel the burn right there? You ready to put some more in there? Yes. All righty, there you go. <laughs> Check out these blackberries. We're still not close, and Bo's almost full. Man, it's so exciting to be getting these blackberries. Man, it's so cool, because also in the same area is where I have been working on developing a permaculture orchard and these blackberries are interplanted with a number of my fruit trees that I got a few years ago from Stark Brothers. So you can also get the blackberries that I have from Stark Brothers as well. Uh, they are thornless 
primo cane, blackberries. I think I'm growing the freedom blackberries. And man, are they delicious and prolific as you can see. Well, after harvesting from that one plant, we moved over to the second plant and I had to upgrade to an even bigger bowl. Oh man, there's a lot on this one too. That's cool. All right, there. These things grow like crazy all the way over there. I'm gonna weed in here. And I know I've been getting darker out in the sun, but I don't look like a blackberry, do I? Because Hezekiah was trying to munch on me <laughs> as we're harvesting the blackberries. What are you doing to me? <laughs> are you eating me? Uh oh. Dude, I think we're gonna fill up this bowl too. And just from this first round of blackberries on these two plants, we filled up both bowls. Man, I'm thinking, wow, what if I had like 50 to 100 of these plants? We would be overloaded with blackberries, but super exciting. So we brought all those blackberries inside and my wife, Lacey, soaked them and rinsed them in a bowl of water with some vinegar, just to get rid of any bugs that are in there because our daughter, Sayla, had a plan for these blackberries. that pot's big enough? It's big enough. I'll just ask mama to be safe. <laughs> hey mama, is the pot big enough? Yes, the pot's big enough. You're right, sailor. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> Faster than that. <laughs> you just like to say that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what next? I need to put some water in here. All right. <laughs> I enjoy having fun with our kids. It's important to not be easily offended and not be so serious all the time and just laugh and relax a little bit. And not be a bitter blackberry, <laughs> but to be a sweet, ripe blackberry. Is that it? <laughs> have you ever cooked this before? I have not actually. <laughs> but thankfully, someone else does. <laughs> and I'm glad that Sailor and I have the kind of relationship that we can just have fun with each other. So I was right about the size container that we needed for harvesting the blackberries. And Somebody else was right about the pot size needed to cook them in as well as the water level. So I guess we're even or something like that. <laughs> I then added some sugar to the blackberries. Stirred them up and cooked them until soft. I used a potato masher to help the blackberries release their juice. One night a week, our family usually has breakfast for dinner. And we usually have fresh eggs from the farm with sausage that's either from lamb, beef, or turkey. And Sayla will usually make something like crepes or pancakes to go along with them. And she'll even make a homemade syrup at times to go with those pancakes. Man, is it good. So her and I were talking that, what if we did a blackberry syrup from these blackberries? 
Mm -mm, that sounds good to me. And that fit right along with her plan. Once the berries are mashed, they are ready to be strained. And speaking of breakfast, whether we do it in the morning or in the evening, I generally like to have milk with my food or tea. I'm a tea guy. I'm not really a coffee guy. I am a tea guy. <laughs> Even though I'm a tea guy, two teas that I really don't like are green tea and Earl Grey tea. Oh, I can't drink them by themselves. Now, I can get them down if they're mixed with other teas, but I just don't like those teas. The teas that I do like are chai tea and peppermint tea. And right here, got some peppermint that we're growing. It'll make some great tea. Smells good. There's been times where I've told people that I drink a lot of tea and people will be like, oh no Mike, don't be drinking all that tea, it's not good for you. And they don't really realize that the tea that I drink and the tea that I'm talking about is different than the tea that comes to their mind. They're probably thinking of iced tea loaded with sugar. No, nope, that's not the tea that I drink. I drink a lot of different herbal teas that are include ingredients like the mint that I just got, as well as things that we're growing like lemon balm and other things. So, no, those things, these things are actually pretty good for you. At various locations here on the farmstead, we've planted a lot of different medicinal herbs that also are great for tea, including lemon balm here that we have planted in multiple locations and it's good for stress and anxiety so it's just a good calming tea and if anybody wants either some lemon balm or mint which is good for digestion let me know Sayla and I have cuttings of both lemon balm and mint that we have for sale and if you want some check out the link below after watching this video of course but there's also a lot of plants that grow naturally in most areas that are beneficial like one of the things that we have here is plantain. Check out that plantain right there. Usually when I talk about plantain, they, people think of the fruit. Well, this is actually the plantain leaf, and this one's the broad leaf plantain. There's actually a narrow leaf plantain as well. And Lacey's actually growing some of this specifically in her herb garden. Let me show you. Check this out right here. Look how big these leaves are. Check this out. Man. Huge. <laughs> that covers up my whole face. Plantain is one of the first wild edibles that I learned about. It's really good. It's supposed to be a good source of vitamin A and C. I'm also really good at reducing mucus. For me personally, uh, in times past, it's helped me during times of allergies, and uh, it grows in a lot of places. One more thing to add to our little tea mix here. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, look at there. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have never heard of using blackberry leaves to make tea, but you can. Just like you can use raspberry leaves. And we're gonna use, let's see, we're gonna go with, we're just gonna get like six of them. Six leaves. So blackberry leaf is supposed to also be good for things like anxiety and vitamin C.
And to sweeten my tea, I prefer molasses or honey, and if I have to, I'll take sugar. But I definitely don't do anything like Splenda or any of those artificial sweeteners. And Stevia, I just don't care for the flavor of it. So I'm definitely more of a molasses and honey guy if I was to narrow it down to just two. And whether I'm working outside or working at the computer, I love just sipping on it. Whether it's a cold or hot day, tea is just, I just love some hot tea, that's just me. So with blackberries, you can either enjoy the fruit or use the leaves and things like tea. And I do want to say that whenever you're trying something new for the first time, whether it be in tea or even eating something, start off with eating it in a small amount just to make sure your body, it works well with your body. Yep, trust me, been there on some things. <laughs> but it's crazy that it's not really well known that all around you and me, there's things growing around us that we can benefit from. For example, most people have things like dandelions growing in their yard and then people also have blackberries that are growing and then we want to eradicate these things from our properties but then we're heading to the store to buy blackberries and to the store to get our dandelion supplements. It's just crazy. Why not stop eradicating them and start using them? Maybe even start with using some plantain. But anyways, back to our blackberry syrup in the making. As a kid, I remember going out and picking wild blackberries and eating them. And I remember one time we did go blackberry picking with my mom and my uh, cousins and brothers. And we got a whole bunch of blackberries. Now, whether that actually made it to blackberry jam or what, I don't remember. But I do remember going and, you know, putting long sleeves on and then you get all in the briar patch. Now, I don't have a lot of memories with blackberries, but we did have a lot of blueberry bushes around our house and we make the same syrup with blueberries to go on our pancakes too. The difference in making blackberry syrup and blueberry syrup is that these blackberries have gigantic seeds so we don't get any cracked teeth. I'm running it through this sieve right here but when I do blueberry syrup I just take my immersion blender and blend everything up together you don't even have to worry about the seeds then. As I stand here and do this, I have to remind myself why I'm going to the extra effort. You know, why am I going and picking the berries when you could just go to the grocery store and buy blackberry jam? But you know what? It tastes better. And I know exactly what's going into this syrup. And you know, it's just nice having your hand in it all along the way and you're making something better for your family than you could ever get in the store. And it's just one less thing that we're outsourcing and having to buy somewhere else. It's one more thing that we're producing for ourselves.